St. George's Church Serbian, Krikva Svi Dorda also known as Oplanak, Oplanak is the mausoleum of the Serbian and Yugoslav Royal House of Karadurdovic located on top of the Oplanak Hill in the town of Topola, Serbia. The Church of Oplanak was founded by King Peter I of Yugoslavia. Many members of the Royal House are buried in the church, in the crypt beneath the church, or in the church yard. Mausoleum. <inaudible> <inaudible> Apart from the two tombs inside the church Caridards in the southern apse, and Peter I in the northern apse, there are 26 other members of the dynasty whose eternal place of rest is in this mausoleum. Six generations of the Karadurdovic family have been buried in this church. The first generation, Marika Zhivkovic, Karadard's mother. The second generation, Karadard in the church and his wife Yelena Yovanovic the third generation, Karadard's son Alexander and his wife Persida Nenadovic The fourth generation, Alexander and Persida's nine children. As follows, Cleopatra 1835-1855, Alexej 1836-1840, Svetozar 1841-1847, Yelena 1846-1867, Andrea 1848-1864, Jelisaveta 1851-1852, Dord 1856-1888, Arseny and Peter the 1st in the church and his wife Lubica also known as Zorka. She is buried in the crypt. Out of the ten children of Prince Alexander and Princess Persida, only their oldest daughter, Pelexia (1833–1914), was not buried here. The fifth generation, Peter I and Zorka's children, Milena (1886–1887), George and his wife Radmila Radonjic (1907–1993), Alexander I and his wife Maria and Andrea (1890–1890), lived only for 23 days. And also Prince Arsen's son Paul and his wife Olga. The sixth generation, King Alexander I and Queen Maria. S. Children, Peter II and his wife Alexandra, Tomislav, and Andrew. And also Prince Paul's sons Nikola and Alexander. Out of the 28 tombs of the Karadurdovic dynasty, six of them belong to rulers, Supreme Leader Karadurd, Prince Alexander, King Peter I, King Alexander I, Prince Paul, and King Peter II. It is an important place of Serbian history. On 6 October 2012, Prince Paul, his wife Olga and his son Nikola were all buried here after their remains were exhumed from the cemetery in Lausanne, and returned to Serbia. On 26 May 2013, Queen Maria, her sons King Peter II and Prince Andrew, and Peter II's wife Alexandra, were all buried here after their remains were exhumed from Frogmore in Britain, the St. Sava Monastery in Libertyville, Illinois, the Cemetery of New Gracanica, also in Illinois, and Tatoy Palace in Greece respectively, and returned to Serbia. History In the 19th century this area was covered in woods. The term Oplanak most probably derives from Opalan, meaning wooden parts on ox cars. Karadard had settled here, built vineyards and orchards, and established the defense of the nearby Topla. His son Alexander built new buildings and renewed his father's vineyards and orchards. It was not until the arrival of King Peter I that this place got its true importance. Peter I, upon his ascension to the throne in 1903, chose a spot 337 meters 1106 feet on the top of Mali Oplanak Hill for the location of his St. George Church. The location was measured by geodesy experts, so the altar would face east according to Orthodox tradition. In 1907 the cornerstone was laid, and the charter dedicated to St. George was placed in the foundation. The winning prize for the tender was given to architect Nikola Nestorovic. After a long and animated expert discussion, primarily regarding the demand for the monumentality of the Serbian Byzantine style, and due to the king's own displeasure with the proposed solution, another tender in 1909 was launched. The committee was made up with basically the same previous members Mihailo Valtrovic, Andra Stavanovic, and architect Konstantin Yovanovic, who replaced Dragutin Dordovic from the previous committee. The committee awarded first prize to the young architect Kosta J. Yovanovic. 
On May 1, 1910 construction started following Yovanovic's plan. Stone breaking for the crypt and the foundation of the church lasted for four months. On 1 September 1910, the foundation was mostly completed. In 1911 the building process continued at a fast pace, and the church was already under the dome. It was decided that same year that the façade of the church would be made of white marble, which came from nearby Venkak Mountain, even today known for its exceptionally white marble. In the autumn of 1912 the church was generally complete and ready for consecration. The Serbian Patriarch Dimitrija consecrated the church on 23 September 1912. During pauses of the 1912–1913 Balkan Wars and the First World War, there was also a pause in the construction of the church. When Austria-Hungary occupied Serbia in the winter of 1915, the church was looted, the copper cover was removed from the dome, roof and portals. The lighting conductor was also removed as well as the bells. Many windows were broken including little marble pillars and ornaments. Using the excuse that important records might be hidden, the occupiers desecrated the graves in the crypt. Returning to the liberated homeland and to the historical creation of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, Peter I was not able to see completion of his foundation. The king died on 16 August 1921, and his successor Alexander I took over its completion. He modified the original plan. After the reconstruction of the crypt, by Yovanovic, this was followed by the iconostasis, the lightning conductor, then a new copper roof with golden edges on the dome. The bells were made by Frères Picard from annecy le vieux France and the mosaics were made by Poole and Wagner from Berlin, Germany. The bronze chandelier was made by Lux, Zagreb, Croatia. The church was once again consecrated in September 1930. Church services were held until 1947. After that it was declared a cultural monument and open to visitors. Oplanac was added to the list of monuments of culture of exceptional importance in 1979, and it is protected by the state. Topic architecture and design topic The church is a five-domed structure. The interior length of the temple is 30 meters 98 feet, and the height of the arch is 27 meters 89 feet. The width of each narthex is 9 meters 29 feet, and so is the span of the central dome. All four facades are made of white marble, which comes from the Venkak mountain. The main facade, the most decorative one, is the western one. The portal's semicircle hosts a mosaic icon of St. George, to whom the church is dedicated. Made in Venice according to the plan of the known Serbian artist Paja Jovanovic, on the basis of a golden mosaic, this icon symbolizes the victory of the Serbs over its enemies. Above the portal, in a circle, the old Karadurtovic family coat of arms has been sculpted, on whose sides two typical men from Sumataja region are shown, holding the flags. The rest of it is mostly identical to the coat of arms of Serbia. The floor of the church was made in Munich, out of polished marble, in various colors. Lifted on a small podium, the throne for the king and queen is made of polished green marble, its back is decorated with golden mosaic and mother of pearl, in the middle is the two-headed eagle. The arm rest is made of the same marble as Visoki Dakani Monastery, while the entire seat rests on sculpted lions. The huge chandelier, 9 meters in diameter, is underneath the main dome, hanging in eight places, above the pendant. It has been molten out of massive bronze, and weighs 1,500 kilograms 3,300 pounds. In the chandelier is a crown set upside down, symbolizing the lost Serbian Empire in the Kosovo battle in 1389. Topic. Mosaic Topic. The initial idea of King Peter I was to carve into the walls the names of all soldiers and officers who had perished in the Balkan Wars of 1912 and 1913. But, since the church was not fully completed, and since First World War followed 1914 this idea had to be abandoned. The solution was to decorate the interior of the temple with mosaics, which would be a sort of a museum of reproductions of the most beautiful frescoes of the medieval Serbian art. Copies from 60 Serbian medieval churches and monasteries had been brought to the St. George Church at Oplanac. The entire mosaic has 725 painted compositions 513 in the temple and 212 in the crypt, on which there are 1500 figures. The entire area of the mosaic is 3,500 square meters 38,000 square feet, with 40 million various colored pieces of glass which have 15,000 different varieties of color, making vivid artistic impression. 
To the right side of the entrance, on the entire southern wall of the narthex, is the painting of the trustee, King Peter I, holding the model of his church on the palm of his left hand, wearing a crown and coronation ornaments. With his right hand, he is guided by St. George, to whom the temple is dedicated, and shown approaching the Mother of God, greeting him with Christ sitting on the throne. In the southern apse is the gallery of the Serbian medieval rulers, an impressive lineup with every one of them represented by their respective churches. The first on the left is Stefan Nemanja, ruled from 1168 to 1196, wearing a priest garb of the Holandar Monastery, holding the Studenica Monastery. Then, there is King Stefan I crowned 1196 with the model of the Zika Monastery, then King Stefan Radoslav 1227 with the narthex of Studenica Monastery, followed by King Stefan Vladislav 1234 with the Mileseva Monastery, then King Stefan Uroš I 1243 with the Sopakani Monastery, King Stefan Dragutin with the Church of St. Achilles King Stefan Militon (1282–1322) with the Gracanica Monastery, King Stefan Dekanski (1322–1331) with the Visoki Dekani Monastery, and two emperors, Stefan Dusan (1331–1355) with the Monastery of the Holy Archangels, and Stefan Uroš V (1355–1371) with the Matejic Monastery. The next depicted ruler is Lazar of Serbia (1371–1389) with the Ravanica Monastery. His son Despot Stefan (1389–1427) with the Manasija Monastery, followed by Durid Brankovic with the Church of Smederevo. In the very calid of the main dome is the Pantocrator, copy of the thorax found in the Gracanica Monastery. The face of Christ, 27 meters from the floor of the temple, looks impressive and is of proportional dimensions. Although the diameter of this painting is 9 meters 29 feet, and although just the finger of Christ is 1.5 meters 5 feet long, and the nose is 1.2 meters 4 feet long, everything is harmonious. In the altar are the frescoes of Lord's Supper and the way to the Golgotha. In the altar niche there is the 5 meter 16 feet tall figure of the Divine Mother of God in a praying position copy of the fresco from the Patriarchal Monastery of Peck. Also, there is the secret of the Holy Communion and the communion of the Apostles with bread and wine. These are just some of the compositions that make the rich interior of the church. Besides the Mausoleum Street. George Church, there are other objects that encompass the foundation of King Peter I, King Peter's House, King's Villa, Queen's Villa, Vineyards, Vineyard Keeper's House, etc. Visitors can also visit the historic town of Topola located nearby, a traditional stronghold of the Karadurdovic family, ever since the time of Karadurd. Last Supper The church hosts an icon representing the Last Supper, patterned after the famous Ultima Cena by da Vinci. The icon is made of mother of pearl and each figure and object is crafted individually. It was made in the workshop of the Salsa family in Beit Sahor, 1.5 kilometers (0.93 miles) east of Bethlehem. The icon is 73.5 by 67.5 centimeters (28.9 by 26.6 in). It was handed out to King Alexander I on the 16th of October 1924, when the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem, Damian I, visited Belgrade. Though the press of the day reported in detail about the event, the icon WASN T mentioned. It was a gift for the king's wedding, which happened on 8 June 1922. The king ordered for the icon to be transferred to the church vault in Oplanac. On 18 October 1934, German Nazi official Hermann Göring visited Oplanac. Within the scopes of attending the funeral of King Alexander I, he spent a lot of time in front of the icon. As the myths of John the Apostle on Ultima Cena actually being Mary Magdalene already existed, and John on the icon indeed looks like a woman, Heinrich Himmler's quasi-scientific organization Onanerb also expressed interest in the icon as part of their search for the Holy Grail. After the German invasion of Yugoslavia during World War II, Yugoslavia was occupied in April 1941, Göring decided to obtain the icon first. 
In order to forestall the plundering of Annenerbe and Alfred Rosenberg, who also founded an organization for stealing arts in the occupied countries, Göring sent Franz Neuhausen to Serbia. In order to mask the looting and give it some legal credence, Göring appointed Neuhausen as the special plenipotentiary for economic affairs in the territory of the military commander in Serbia after the partition of Yugoslavia. The first thing taken from Oplianik was the icon, sent right away to Göring who exhibited it in his Karen Hall. In 1943, Göring transferred a part of the plundered collection, including the icon, to the Altau Sea Salt Mines in Styria, Austria. The Allies found the treasure after the liberation and it was all stored in Fuhrerbau, a former representative building built for Hitler, then turned by the Allies into the central collecting place for the art looted by Nazis. The icon was also stored there. There are two versions of how the icon was returned to Oplanak. According to the first, member of the security agency OZNA Slobodan Kostik Yuka paid for it, 1,200 dinars, $350 and some small types of other favors. The other, more accepted is that controversial art collector Andy Topic Mimara returned the icon, as his wife Wiltred Mersman Topic was a junior curator at the Central Collecting Place. Topic. See also. Topic. Tourism in Serbia Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Royal Mausoleum Oplanak Topic. Royal Family of Serbia official website